Spend an average day at the Science Operations Center at the Phoenix Mars mission, and the first thing you will notice is that there is no average day. Since a Mars day, known as a Sol, is 40 minutes longer than an Earth day, it means that each shift starts, on average, 40 minutes later each day. To combat this ever-changing workday, the SOC has set up a counter-fatigue room, complete with two on-call doctors, and have even blacked out all the windows in the building, though some light still peeks in. While the work schedule is somewhat regulated, it's all dependent on the MRO and Odyssey satellite passes, responsible for downlink and uplink to the Phoenix. On this particular day, it is Sol 24, and the kickoff meeting starts just before the Sol 24 p.m. downlink, which is where information is received. The health of the spacecraft, new photos, anomalies, and of course, the science data. Well, the average day when I come in the door is often to rush to the table for the first meeting. So, uh, but I, I like to get a few minutes in before then, uh, because one of my responsibilities has been leading the geology science theme group. So the instrument teams work tremendously hard on downlinking their data, getting the data back from Mars, and putting it into images. And they don't have much time for anything else. They'll determine what they want to do, and then representing that society as an engineer, then I can say, well, yes, the camera can do that, or no, it can't do that. We then get a chance to look at those images, and if, we're, if we can think fast enough, and come to conclusions fast enough, for the very next day, we can tell the ISEs, the, guy who, the guys who produce the code for the next day's operations, that this is what we'd really like to see. So there'll be a team sequencing the camera for you know, the next day's you know, run, and I'll be looking actually at like two, three, four days ahead of time making the plans and preparing and making sure everything's right so when it does come up and the, you know, the engineers pull up the plan to sequence it, it's correct at that time. The atmosphere in the downlink room is one of constant assessment. Because while the overarching schedule is usually planned days in advance, changes to commands and procedures sometimes need to be adjusted within a few hours or a few minutes. The last meeting for Sol 24 is known as the end of Sol meeting. This is where the science data, photos, and information can be presented to the whole group and analyzed. This meeting is by no means an end to the workday here at the University of Arizona. The meeting directly following this one is to begin deciding what commands to send Phoenix for the next Sol on Mars, starting the process all over again for Sol 25.